Hey guys, I'm Amanda Davidson with Direct Performance Physical Therapy. I'm a physical therapist and this is our next session of our Strength Training for Runners series. So the idea being that these are some workouts that you can do to help complement your running as well as help to prevent injury while you're running. So for this week, if you could try to complete this workout twice during the week. And our special guest today is Corey Danbury. Hi, my name is Corey. I'm a coach at CrossFit Tidewater. Um, today's uh, workout is 21, 15, 9, 15, 21 of deadlifts, lunges, and box jumps and or step ups. Now, I'm going to be demoing the workout with kettlebells today, but you can do this um, many ways uh, with many types of equipment that you have. So if you have kettlebells, then it's great. You can do it with dumbbells as well, or if you have a barbell or an odd object, those will all work fantastic. Um, so the first thing is it's 21 deadlifts, 21 lunges. These are going to be alternating lunges, meaning just 21 total lunges. And then box jumps. If you are not familiar with the box jump, then you will be doing uh, back box step ups or stepping up to like an odd object, like I said, or squat jumps as well. And then you'll move on to 15, 15, 15, 9, 9, 9, and then working your way back up the ladder of 15 and 21. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to demo our deadlifts. All right. Like I said, I have a kettlebell here. All we're going to do is we're going to bring that kettlebell. We're going to that lift, grab that kettlebell here, make sure that our lats are locked out, okay? Butt is here, and we're driving with our legs, squeezing our glutes at the top, all right? Tapping the floor, just like so. What we don't want to see with this is a loss of those shoulders, okay? That'll cause a lot of back issues, so don't do that, all right? The next thing we're gonna do is the lunges. So you, um, like I said, you can do this if you're not familiar with the lunge or have not done any strength training with, um, with lunges. You can just do this without any weight. It'll work just as well. All right, we're gonna step forward with our foot, tap down, driving out with that, dot, that foot in front, all the way up, just like so, keeping that chest nice and tall. That's two, three, and four. So that's how you would count, one, two, three, four, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult and you are familiar with some sort of strength, uh, strength training, you can use a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or a barbell. Front and back position would work fine, or you can switch off every so often on either side, just like so. Or just this. All right. Now that we've got the legs all nice and toasty, you guys are going to jump onto a box. All right. So we're going to load our legs. Um, here we go. And then standing at full extension once we land that box jump. Like I said, if you are not confident with the box jump, that's okay. We're going to still build that leg strength. You're going to do step ups. Uh, one leg on the box. You're going to drive off this leg, not using the back leg as, uh, using the back leg as little as possible. Tap, alternate, tap, alternate. Perfect, that's awesome. Guys, this is a great workout um, to strength train all the muscles in your legs, particularly the posterior chain, your glutes, hamstrings, um, which are super important for running and preventing injury, and then also getting the quads with the lunge jumps and the box jumps, and then, of course, the box jumps is a plyometric activity, so that's going to help increase power and speed in your running. So try this out, try it twice this week, and let us know what you think. Thanks.